This quick guide video shows how to prepare and handle Titan when used for neonatal screening. Firstly, take Titan from the cradle and check if the correct cables are connected. For distortion product and transient evoked autoacoustic emission measurements, it is recommended to use the probe with the short extension cable connected to the unit. For the ABUS measurement, the preamplifier must be connected to the Titan unit. The electro cables and transducers for right and left ear must then be attached to the preamplifier. To release the probe or cable, press the button at the back of the Titan and pull the probe or extension cable out whilst holding on to the base. Do not pull directly on the cord of the extension cable as this can damage the tubing connections. When attaching a cable, align the red triangles and push the cable into place. Switch Titan on by pressing the L or the R button on the device. Notice that you can check how full the battery is in the top right hand corner of the screen. When Titan's battery power becomes low, the battery symbol shows red and it is recommended to replace the battery. To do so, slide down the battery lid, remove the battery, place a charged battery in the compartment and notice that it only fits with the contacts in the correct position. Slide the battery lid back into place. Turn Titan back on by using the R or the L button. Then use the up and down key to find your client in the list and press select to proceed. In case your client is not in the list, you can choose new client. Optionally, you can edit the details of the new client before selecting it. The next step is the selection of the TEOAE DPOAE or ABRIS protocol that is going to be used. Move the up and down keys until the needed protocol is highlighted and press select to proceed. Running a measurement and what to be aware of related to that measurement is explained in a separate video. You'll notice that when a test has been started, regardless of the outcome, you must save the results to the selected client before you can repeat a test or before you can select a different client. Even switching off Titan will not delete data. After having measured both ears and once the save button has been pressed, the screen will change back to the select client screen where you can select the same or a different client for your next measurement. If you wish to switch off Titan, hold down the R and L keys together for about one second. Once finished with the device, place it back in the cradle to recharge the battery. This concludes this quick guide video on handling Titan for neonatal screening.